Question number 33, it says if alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic equation, find the value of 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. What this question is trying to say, you know, whenever you solve a quadratic equation, you normally obtain two solutions. It means you should take the reciprocal of each value and add them together. Whatever you obtain is the required solution. If you are following me on YouTube, I have made a video that talk about the relationship that exists between quadratic roots and quadratic coefficients. So let us rearrange this quadratic equation. We have 9x squared minus 9x. If negative 2 come back, it becomes positive 2. And to the right, we have nothing except 0. So now let us break down our data. You know, the leading coefficient is a, which is 9 here. B is the coefficient of x, which we have here as minus 9. And C is the constant, which we have as 2. So you cannot solve this question without obtaining the sum and the product of roots. If you have watched my initial video, you have seen that. So for sum of roots, sum of roots, which is alpha plus beta, sum of the roots, can be obtained by taking negative b over a. And this is equal to what we have here as b is negative 9, but this one have a constant negative. So we have negative, negative 9 over a, and a here is what? 9. Altogether, this negative will change this to positive because negative, negative is positive. 9 divided by 9 is 1. So the sum is equal to 1. Therefore, the product means we should multiply them together. Alpha times beta can be obtained by taking C over A. And our C is constant. You can see it here as 2. So alpha times beta will be equal to 2 over a, our a is 9. So having obtained this, let us simplify this because this is what we are looking for. We are looking for 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. The LCM between them, if you uh, take the LCM of alpha and beta, you should obtain alpha and beta. When you take alpha and plug it here, you're going to obtain beta and beta times 1 is beta. Plus, when you take beta and plug it here, you're going to obtain alpha, and that alpha times 1 is alpha. This is equal to beta plus alpha is the same thing as saying alpha plus beta. They are commutative. We have alpha plus beta to be equal to 1 here. So we have 1 here, divide by, because this is a division sign. Alpha times beta, we have it here as 2 over 9. 2 over 9. This is equal to, this is a fraction, and 1 is dividing our fraction. It's just like taking the reciprocal of that fraction by flipping it over as 9 over 2 instead of 2 over 9. And this is the required solution, 9 over 2, an improper fraction. Okay, all the solutions here are in decimal points, so let us see how we can change it. Uh, this one is the same thing as 4.5, which is option A here. So now let us look on to question number 34.